before electric cars really revolutionized the market, they need to be two things, cheap and practical. A lot of people have been waiting for Tesla to crack that nut with the Model 3, but Chevy's about to beat them to the punch with this. It's the new Bolt. It has a 200-mile range. It's going to be available for less than $30,000. We got to drive it. We're in the Bolt. We're going to take it for a quick spin. We're going to start with an acceleration test. The car will do 0 to 60 in under 7 seconds, and it's pretty good. That's certainly on par with pretty much any other uh, small economy car that you'd expect in this segment. Um, the car is very nice and roomy. There's a lot of room in here. Flat floor as well, which makes getting from the left side of the car to the right side nice and easy. Which, uh, given the partnership with Lyft, you can see being a good thing, dropping off partners or pedestrians, I should say. Uh, be nice and easy regardless of which side of the curb you're on. You can adjust the regenerative braking here by shifting into low, which means that the car will basically allow one pedal driving, meaning you don't have to worry about using the brakes too often. That'll mean that the brakes will last longer. It'll also mean you can go longer on a charge, which is good. Of course, we're talking about uh, 200 miles to a charge, but of course, that'll depend on your driving characteristics, how heavy you are on that right pedal, weather and other factors will also affect your driving range. But ultimately, the car drives quite nicely. It's, of course, nice and quiet, as you would expect from an EV. And again, pretty good amount of power. Inside the Bolt, we have a customized version of Chevy's Mylink system, which is completely different than what we've seen in any other cars. Um, it's actually quite customizable, and it looks a lot like Android, as a matter of fact. You can actually go through here and choose a variety of different layouts. You can even do a custom layout, and pick whichever widgets that you want to. These will then be tied back to the driver profile, so as you get in the car, remember who you are and show you the appropriate things. They'll even remember what you were listening to when you got out last time. And being an EV, of course, the car gives you plenty of information about all the electricity and where it's going in the car, how you're using it. You can also get information about your driving economy and also factors that will impact your range, things like terrain and temperature. Basically, things that will help you to optimize the amount of distance that you can get out of your battery pack. Also, some other nice features in here like an LCD dashboard and a pretty cool mirror that actually uses a camera to see behind you instead of just optics. Like the Model S, the Bolt has its battery pack situated down low in the floor. This has a lot of advantages, one being handling, it'll help the car to corner better, but it also means you get a lot more room inside, a nice flat floor, plenty of room for plants or pets or pretty much anything else that you want to put into a compact car. Now again, Chevy isn't giving us a formal price for the car. This is just a pre-production model, which explains why these headlights are a little bit ugly and why there's lots of vinyl everywhere. But again, they're saying the price will be under $30,000 after the federal tax rebate, and it'll have over 200 miles. For the formal numbers, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer. But for my first time behind the wheel, it's a pretty impressive little car.